So it's March already. So much has happened. I ended up getting a new job. February, I lo- my old job was shut down. Oh, those guys meeting me just for the first time. Maybe I should do introductions again because I ended up getting... And it's March, so... Hi, I'm Alana. I run a couple of art blogs. Tumblr, TikTok, even on YouTube I run an art thing of sorts. But I'm also this TikTok here and... uh <laughs> I'm a Leo, and I was born in the year 1986, so that tells you my age. Uh, let me see. Yep, I'm a Leo, so born in August. August baby. I live in Australia. I'm a big fan of manga. <laughs> a little bit of Legos, too. I do a lot of drawing, as you can see behind me. One of my OCs there. You can see a few collections of Pokemon and other things. Second bookshelf, Lego stuff. And if I turn around, you can see the desk over there in the bed of Squishmallows. I've collected a few. I'm trying to curb back on that because it's starting to get out of hand. And I have a couple of kitties. One of them is down here. Give me a minute. Sitting right under my desk. Hey, Arthur. He's about four to five months now, coming this March. We got him in December. He's quite a cutie. But if you sit down, I won't be able to do more of my video. He's a ragdoll. Buddy, it looks like I'm catted right now. Well, I'm at my desk, which is a bit messy, but I'll show you the pictures in a minute because now I am officially catted, as you can see. A few more drawings from me and some of the tags from my Squishmallows. And I'm not sure if you can see that too well, but this is some drawings I've done as well. Collection of OCs and original and fan art stuff. So that's an introduction. As you can see the bed, it's a bit messy, sorry. I don't know where I put some things, but this is a bit of a mess. More of my drawings you can have a look at there. Ah, uh, the Pokemon posters from my sister. She did that. The bookshelf. The bookshelf. Bookshelves, actually. I've got quite a lot of manga in there. You ready to get off my lap? Or are you just going to get yourself comfortable again? You want to say hi to everybody, buddy? You want to say hi? See, there you are. Show us your precious little cutie face. Yes. He's definitely getting more of his colors in. You can see him on his back and on his front. He's a ragdoll. I managed to get a good deal on getting him. But the breeder was really good about all his paperwork and stuff. So it's really good. Got some stuff in here. We have some cat things in here as well for all of them. It's one of his toys. And he's now sitting on my lap. Okay, well anyway, that will have to end in the introductions to my room. Because now I have a cat sitting on my lap, but that is introductions for March. If I have to do it again in the next month, oh god, I hope not. But anyway, 2003 March, this is the room so far. I have a new job now, which keeps me busy, but I also have to be very careful what I post online now, so that's extra because the hospital I work at is extra fussy about what you post, so I have to be very careful what I go through. No. Mm. Anyway, I'll leave it off on Arthur. I have another cat named Moulin. If you can see the drawings up there, he's a grey kitty. You'll probably see a grey cat in some of my videos. That's my old cat, Moulin. He's really old, but Arthur at the moment is my young one. He hasn't even finished his kittenhood yet. He's only five months. He's not even a teenager yet. He's a kid, but he's gotten this big. This is like five-month-old kitten. Well, he's about five months. I think he only just turned five, I think, this month. Yeah, because he was four last month. He was four in February. Now he's five. Because we got him around December. And he was three months when I got him in December, so... About three months. 
So it was like two months coming on three. He was very small when I got him. So you've all seen him growing up because his colors are starting to come in. As you can see, his little ragdoll colors are coming in slowly. It's interesting with ragdolls. They're born pure white and their colors start coming in at a certain age. Most ragdolls are known to have blue eyes, though, but they come in all sorts of colors. I'd say he's more of a seal point. You're a seal point, buddy? Chocolate. Chocolate color. He's got these nice, beautiful browns coming in, as you can see on him. He's my little Arthur. Merlin, I do not know where he is. He's sitting somewhere. <laughs> He's my Arthur. Oh, did Merlin scratch you again, buddy? This is not good. I keep telling you, just leave him alone. This is going to have to clip Murray's claws again, if that's what the case is. You better not be scratching there, buddy. Yeah. See, you look at him, he's so happy. Now I gotta go. Sorry, you've been constantly seeing me with a cat in my lap now, because I just got catted. But I'll leave you off with some of my drawings. You got some of my OCs there. And some more OCs and original and fan stuff all over the place here. Manga, cartoons, drawings, artwork stuff, got some crafts. This is my really messy desk at the moment. Got a bilby there. I'm so excited. I've got some chocolates. For my Easter stuff will be bilby themed this year. I'm not going for a rabbit because they're in say invasive species of Australia is the rabbit. So I'd rather support the Easter bilby. Or Australia, anyway. I mean, other parts will have rabbits. But Australia, we can have the bilby. And, sorry, messy film. I'll leave you off on the bookshelf. As you can see, bookshelves. I got a lot of manga in there. There's some boys love and girls love in there. Nothing to thing, but a lot of cat manga in there. And some games, too. My drawings. Some things. Lego inspired and other sort of geeky stuff. But yeah, as you can see, I'm an avid magnet click there and an avid drawer. So it's some mystery skull stuff there. Maybe if I can get closer, you can see some Australian native animals. As I live in Australia, it's some of my things. I made a Zim fan out there. Some drawings of my cats. Some mystery skulls. I think Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles there. I think I got one over here. Yep. And there we go. And I also just got off my lap right now. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh, was I fulfilling? Anyway, so Arthur's gotten off my lap. He's wandering around going, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's like, eh, what are you doing? You go. You go, what am I doing? You, you're very cute. <laughs> Anyway, it was like some of my other drawings. I'm showing this page. Drawings of other days. I messed up the forehead on that one a bit, but it's some um, anime fan art. So other uh, sketchbook I started, I think. See, lots of stuff I do. Even some Lego fan art too. I did some bluey too. Not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> Bit messy. Tim said drawing my cat a few times. Mr. Skulls has been taking over my brain a lot lately. Yeah, it's been taking over a lot. Said these are my um, favorite to draw overseas. That's the ghost mother for this character. I'll have to explain it more on a separate page. Yep, I'm gonna have to look around to find Merlin. Aren't we? This is my summer drawings. We're gonna have a close up look now of my manga shelf. There's some manga behind others in other books as well, so not all just manga. Lots of cat manga around here, and as I said, it's the collection of other ones. <laughs> so much. Things there, like Jack. Some of the other ones that I'm reading at the moment, and some books too. Arthur's coming by. He's helping us show us around. <laughs> Close off on my cat Merlin. Here he is. <laughs> he's a very old boy. But he's loved. Very much loved. <laughs> and that's the video. <laughs>